Hey everyone, today on Quick Tips, we're going to go over some frequently asked questions with some potentially shocking answers. Well, okay, there will be no shocking, but today we're taking some time to discuss the electrical side of QuickJack's electric hydraulic power unit. Let's check it out. I'm Jared here with QuickJack, and as I mentioned, today we'll take a closer look at some of the electrical questions we get from you guys. Getting right into it is question number one. How many amps does it take to run my QuickJack power unit? And frankly, we have a few answers for you. Because as many of you know, we have several different power unit options available. For those of you with the 110 volt AC power unit, you can expect a max draw of 15 amps with a standard operation between 10 and 12. Our 12 volt DC unit will require 70 amps. Yeah, DC is a bit weird like that. And the 220 volt has a draw of just five to eight amps. Now, this leads into our next question. Which power unit should I be getting? And the answer is really up to you. Which power unit suits your needs? They all function the exact same way, so get the one that's most convenient for you to use. If you're using the quick jack on the go, maybe the 12 volt is right for you. In your garage, the 110 volt is probably a good way to go. And the 220 volt is really there for you folks where 110 volt power is not available. But beware, the 220 volt does not include a plug and will need to be connected to a power or a plug by a licensed certified electrician. Last but not least, a question we hear all the time, can I use an extension cord with my QuickJack power unit? Well, the answer here is a bit trickier. We recommend avoiding extension cords if at all possible. However, if you do need to use one, just make sure it's the right size for the job. Some light duty extension cords just won't be up to the task and could potentially cause overheating and damage to the power unit. To avoid this, make sure you're using at least a 14 gauge extension cord for lengths of up to 50 feet. If for some reason you'd extend all the way out to 75 feet, use a 12 gauge cord. Past 75 feet, just find a closer outlet. And that's it. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and drop a comment below or reach out to our Quick Jack support team via the links in the description below. We're always happy to help out. As always, please like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.